Bjorn stood on the topmost level of the Fang and wondered what it would be like to breathe again, to walk open-faced beneath the cold, dark sky, to hold a bolter in his fist and feel the kick when he pulled the trigger. He swivelled his head to one side, aware of the hum of hydraulics and the slow shifting of the ancient cogs and gears. He could rotate his field of vision through 360 degrees if he wanted to, but somehow that felt wrong. It never ceased to amaze him how the millennia-old reflexes of his body still tricked him after all these years, just as the appetites of his body still lived long after he had outlived his ability to fulfil them. There were times when he still craved the raw bloody taste of bear steak. There were times when all he wanted to do was down a huge stein of foaming ale. When he had stepped out through an airlock into the airless heights above the world, he had still felt an urge to hold his breath. He laughed inwardly and admired the view. Old fool, he thought, be grateful for what you have. The long curve of the world's horizon filled his vision. Below him, he could see cyclones of clouds swirling across the endless ice. A blizzard was blowing in from the sea of storms. From up here, he could see it as well as any weather satellite. He upped the magnification of his lens and studied the pattern. Yes, no doubt about it, a big storm was coming. He hoped that this was not an omen. He hoped that this had nothing to do with the reason why the great wolf had woken him from his centuries of sleep. He feared this was not the case. The young ones woke him only in times of direst necessity now, and that was something he appreciated. He liked being alone with his dreams. There were times when he wondered if that was all they were. Had there really been a time when he had worn the flesh, when his body had lived and breathed and walked among men? Had he really once watched Russ stand on the ice plain of Skagarak and command his roaring host of warriors to board those gleaming silver starships? Had he really fought his way right across the galaxy from Fenris to distant Earth during the dark days of the Horus Heresy. There were times when some of those long gone memories seemed little more than fever dreams. Yet there were some memories that still burned as bright in his memory banks as the day when they happened. He could remember the faces of long dead comrades. The shouts of Eon's old war cries still echoed through his mind. He could remember the smell of blood and to death on Talon and the sight of titans marching to battle across the blazing desert. He could remember the burning of Prospero and the flight of the Thousand Suns. He could remember the ruins of Earth and the mangled form of the Emperor being placed within his golden throne by Rogal Dawn. He could remember things that were only legends to those who lived today. But mostly what he remembered was Russ, his Primarch, the roaring, roistering giant he had followed across a hundred worlds in those ancient days. By all that was sacred, had there ever been such another man, he doubted it. Russ had been a giant and there were no more giants left. It seemed impossible to believe that such a one as Russ could die. He had burned with life and power and pride. Bjorn did not believe that he was dead. The power of the Primarch transcended mere mortality. He knew that somehow Russ would defy time and come back to the Fang one day. He felt the airlock door open behind him and watched the escaped air cloud crystallise. Droplets of moisture condensed on his carapace and ran down his faceplate like tears. He turned and looked at the open door and saw the towering figure of the rune priest that waited behind the transparent inner lock. 
The man looked gnarled and ancient beyond words. Bjorn found it hard to believe that the priest had not yet been born when he had last woken. With powerful mechanical strides, he walked back towards the airlock and stepped inside. The door hissed shut behind him, cloudy air filtered into the chamber. The transparent inner door slid open. The great wolf wishes to see you now, Lord, said the rune priest. Bjorn studied the man. The reverential expression there would seem more at home on the face of an aspirant than on that gnarled and lined visage. I shall take you to him. There's no need, he said. I know the way. Filled with ancient confidence and power, he strode through the halls of the Fang like the still-living ghost of ancient days.